It is short, intense, and lucrative. A week-long fishing frenzy underway in the waters off the island tonight. Late Sunday, the Department of Fisheries gave the green light to the herring fleet to drop their nets and begin hauling in this year's catch. There is only one speed at French Creek Marina today. Let's go, 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 go. Herring boats are coming ashore one after the other, stocked with fish. Only one day into the season, and this is the workflow. A speed offering little rest for crew at French Creek Seafood. That's chaotic. The adrenaline goes, pumps through people, and just gets them going. Hectic. That's all I can say about it is hectic. The pace may be unfamiliar, but the volume of fish coming in is welcome. Yeah, we just started at noon yesterday, and we already got uh, 61 ton already, uh, full load on the boat. Early reports are promising, and just a day into the season, predictions are being made that a massive fish population could move directly into the fleet's grasp. There's a big body of fish out there. Uh, the Saints started on Sunday, did a little bit of shot of fishery, and then shut it down, waiting for the bigger body to move in. Historically, the herring season is quite short, but the economic spin-off on Vancouver Island is very large. This may be the action hub, but the trickle-down effect from its energy is widespread. A lot of people, that they don't know what else to do other than to uh, operate a fishing season and what it consists of and make it work for the families and uh, puts food on the table for many people. The work can be dangerous and the pace offers little room for error, but staff on the dock wouldn't have it any other way and hope the action doesn't stop for a season that may only last a week's time. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, French Creek Marina.